Hi, my name is Jeffrey. I'm the co-founder of Dish the Fish. Uh, I'm from the fourth generation of a fish family, uh, which is uh, I'm also a fish geek. My family is Teochew, and we have very deep uh, expectation on the quality of seafood, and that's the main reason why uh, I started Dish the Fish um, to also share the story of my tradition as well as the story of every single fish, and also work from all the fishermen as well as from the fish, uh, all the farmers as well. So Dish the Fish is being formed to, uh, with mainly these four values. So one, we globally source our fish, not just from Asia context, but from globally as well. Yeah, so we import all over the world and we work with fishermen and farmers closely. Uh, second, we sustainably source all this uh, through all the wild caught sources. And we make sure that all the farms that we uh, work with very closely, they are responsibly harvesting all these products without the usage of any hormones or antibiotics. And the last value that we value a lot is actually all the products that, are, that we hold are actually all respectively handled and developed by ourselves. And we develop a lot of our byproducts uh, based on uh, all the ingredients that we have as well. Today, uh, I'm going to show you the difference between uh, wild salmon and also the farm salmon. And over here, we actually have uh, various types of uh, salmon. Um, so maybe we can start from the typical one, which is the one that we are going to focus on, like the sock eye. And why, why is it the uh, most preferred uh, wild salmon? Uh, because of the redness that you can see, apart from uh, the usual palm salmon. Uh, and this redness actually comes from the nu nutrients in the wild salmon, which is natural. Uh, it's not artificially inserted into the flesh. And that's the, uh, the nutrients is actually known as atosatin, which is a nu uh, organic nutrient that is very good for child development. And that is the main reason why a lot of the young parents actually uh, buy wild salmon, especially for sockeye salmon, because it helps the kid in terms of the brain development and in terms of the overall development. Also the second factor which is the flavour as well. Yeah, so wild salmon uh, naturally has a stronger and more distinct flavour as compared to farm salmon. So if you compare it between the farm salmon, uh, the sock eye which is more lean. Yeah, so you can see from here, like there's very, very little white lines. So the white lines are actually the fats. And if you compare it to a uh, usual uh, normal Norwegian salmon, which is this, you can take note of the fats as well. So maybe we can look deep into uh, the difference between uh, the various types. So I can actually elaborate a little bit more. Firstly, maybe we can look at the two types of uh, farm salmon that's widely available in the market. Yeah, so this, you can see the color in, uh, the difference in color, and this is a uh, normal Norwegian salmon, and this is a uh, salmon trout. Yeah, so as you can see, the color is a little bit different. Yeah, this is a bit more orangey, and this is uh, uh, lighter in color, and this is actually darker in, in, the, in terms of the gradient. And you can see that over here, in terms of the bag, yeah, there's a pink line. So this will help you to differentiate between a salmon trout and a salmon. So what's so special about salmon trout? And what's so different about salmon trout as compared to the familiar uh, Norwegian salmon? Uh, it's because of the, the fats amount. The fats amount in the salmon trout. Um, you can see there's a thicker white line. As, as mentioned earlier, we were comparing in terms of the fats between a Norwegian salmon as well as the salt eye. But for a salmon trout, you can see that the line is obviously thicker than the normal salmon. So it tastes uh, not as strong as normal salmon. So if you ever get a chance to try like salmon trout, eventually you might be converted because it's full of oil, full of punch and when you eat it, it just you just can't stop. We have uh, three types of wild salmon that we commonly 
carry in, uh, in the local context. Uh, we have the Chum, which is known as the Kita Salmon over here. Um, this is uh, actually uh, not as strong taste as the Sock Eye Salmon. And um, this actually is quite close to the Farm Salmon. So a lot of the people who are first switching from uh, Farm Salmon to uh, Wild Caught Salmon, they might prefer this because uh, it's a closer taste towards what they are familiar with. And that's the reason why uh, you, can, you can see the color is lighter than the Sock Eye Salmon that uh, we were showing earlier on. Compared to the Sock Eye Salmon, yeah, you can see the color is very different. And then compared to the Wow King Salmon, which is known as the Chinook Salmon, yeah, you can see the color between these three. So maybe we can compare in terms of the uh, oil level as well. Yeah, so the King Salmon will have slightly more oil as compared to these two. And then in terms of flavor and texture, uh, most of the people will prefer the Sock Eye Salmon. The season of the wild salmon actually starts uh, on between end June all the way to November. So the sock eye salmon will actually start between uh, end June to end uh, July, whereas uh, followed by the king salmon, which will start from August all the way to September. And then the chum and the, the rest of the other breed will actually continue from uh, October all the way to November. Yeah, so. This is the only time of the year that we will be able to actually get fresh wild salmon into Singapore. And we are potentially one of the few that actually carry the wild uh, fresh salmon throughout uh, the year. So normally, where, 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 uh, where can you get all the frozen uh, salmon? Yeah, they are actually all harvested and uh, all blast freeze from the time that they were being caught during the last season. So as we can see, all the frozen salmon over here, they are all blast freeze with very good quality, which is very similar to the fresh one that we will be getting soon uh, when the season actually comes. Okay, so now that you have known so much about the difference between the farm salmon and the wild salmon, are we ready to cook some wild salmon? Let's go.